Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Uh, today, I think we're going to finally get some machines. Uh, so we're going to start with industrial craft, um, mainly because I really want to get stuff like the sag mill, but unfortunately the sag mill requires tung steel, and tung steel needs things like the metal alloy, which means we're going to need to get these dusts, and the dusts come from... Uh, you know, they come from, uh, where is it, from the chemical extractor and all this sort of stuff. So um, that's all under rock hounding, I think, and we'll do that probably, well, maybe even next episode, uh, but we'll get to that. Uh, so instead, I'm going to do the industrial craft route just because I really want to start getting the most out of my ores. Uh, and I'm pretty sure generators, just iron, 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 some redstone, some copper and some slime. Yeah, we've got all of that stuff happening already. Uh, the other thing we wanted is a macerator, uh, iron, iron plate, diorite, yep, we can do all this stuff, hopper we can make, basic machine casing, bronze, now that we've got our tinkers, we can do some bronze, uh, tin plates, yep, so again, everything we can do. Um, the other thing we're going to need is, where is it? Not the macerator, we want the... Metal former. So the metal former, yep, Dawnstone plates, we've got some of those. Copper gear, yeah, basic gear with some copper around it, not a problem. Tinker's hammer would easily get. Toolbox, more Dawnstone. Uh, chest, some hardened leather. Ooh, what's that? Pressed wax. Ah, candle ring and pot. Easy, easy, easy. All right, so we're going to be able to make all this stuff um, pretty well. It's going to take a little bit of doing, I think, a few few more uh, ingredients there than I was planning on uh, but I'll go away I'll get a bunch of the stuff together um, and we'll get it sort of um, we'll get it all happening here I'll um I'll pop back in if I hit anything um, anything untoward but again I'll try and cut out a lot of the boring stuff um, like collecting all of the uh, collecting all the ingredients that we need I'm not sure I have enough uh, geothite oh no we've got a bit of copper Gold's sort of what I'm worried about. I'll need to go and get some more gold. That's not going to be enough to get us the dawnstone we need. Uh, so yeah, a bit more mining for me. I'll be back and we'll get the stuff made. See you in a bit. Alrighty, we're back and I've actually made three things. We've got the generator, the macerator, and the metal former. Uh, what I'm going to do is probably just throw stuff down in the middle to begin with. So we'll put the generator... Yeah, just there, macerator just there, metal former there, and this should power, yeah, they should power right next to each other, I haven't made any cables yet, uh, and what we'll do is we'll grab some, uh, charcoal's good, regular charcoal, throw a couple of those in, Hey, look at that. So we're getting some EU across to there, some EU across to there. Middle former gives us a bit more. And now we can make the cables that go to, well, we can move this around a bit so we can get cables. Um, one of the things that we want to make, though, first of all, is the electric wrench. Uh, where are we? That one, to be in lossless mode. Uh, and this is just so that we can pick these items up again and move them if we need to, because we're going to need to be in lossless mode. Uh, which means we're going to need to make a bunch more stuff. Whoa, electronic circuits are not fun anymore. Red quartz. A transistor, nichrome, electrum. Wow, nichrome is going to be a little bit interesting to get. Okay, so it looks like we're not making one of these things for a while. Uh, also means that we're not going to be able to move these for a while as well until we get... Oh, yeah, cool. Wow, that filled up quite nicely. Um, so yeah, we're not going to be able to move these for a little while, but these are the two main machines I want to make. This one because we can now get plates and wire really easily, um, and this one to grind up some stuff. Uh, mainly as well for the plates is to get, and the reason we did this is because I really wanted to get our jetpack, the first jetpack, and this needs these um, item casings. Uh, bat box should be pretty easy. RE batteries, again, item casings. Um, bit of wood, cable, not a problem. Now I've just realized this advanced circuit is going to be a problem because, oh, Obsidian I've ended, we've got that, not a problem. Uh, actually, add-ons, 
Wow, well, isn't empower us? So we're going to need to look at some actually add-ons for a little bit, uh, and we are actually going to have to get to make some of this stuff. Atomic reconstructor, raw circuit boards, silicon dust, mineral sizer from sand. Okay, that's pretty good. That's not a problem. So yeah, the mineral sizer is one of the next things that we wanted to sort of get into anyway. So what I might do is. Do I do it in this episode? Do I do it in the next episode? Uh, we'll start We'll start a little bit of rock handing in this episode, I think. So what we'll do is we'll get towards that mineral sizer, because I think that's one of the first things that we're going to have to get. Uh, and this is iron. Yeah, a bunch of iron, a bunch of iron, another hopper, some glass and some iron. So really, it's just a lot of iron. Oh, yeah, some of that as well. That's not too much of a problem. All right, I'm going to race away. We'll make this. We'll get the mineral sizer happening, and we'll see where we go from there. And then hopefully we'll be able to start getting towards the bits so that we can get our jet pack. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty nasty. So, <laughs> yeah, silicon from there, the microchip, electrum, yeah, so I'm pretty sure the first step is the um, mineral sizer. So I'll race away, we'll make a mineral sizer, and then we'll see what we need to get going. Uh, and I'll see you back here in a second. Alrighty, we are back with a mineral sizer. Um, I've also managed to find out that when you macerate magnetite ore, you get three iron dust per magnetite, which is so much better for, um, you know, the yield for iron. So I'm going to start grinding up a bunch of, a bunch of my ores now. But first of all, let's get this mineral sizer going and see how it works. Now, I'm going to go and put this, I don't know, do we want it against the window? This is always the toughest question, where to put things. Let's just put it there. Oh, look at that, mineral sizer. Okay, so the way we get this going is a couple of ways. So it says, like if you hover over it, it says it can be powered by either inner dose fuel blend or an induction heating element in RF. Don't have RF yet. Induction heating element, I don't even want to know. It might be easy to build, it might not be. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but the energized fuel blend, I believe, isn't that hard. Yeah. Redstone, glowstone, and some coal, not a problem at all. We have uh, some redstone here, and we have some glowstone there, and coal. Let's just go like that. 36, let's get and 54, sure, that'll do. So we're gonna want to put, now how do we put that in there? All right, like that. And so I couldn't put it in there. I had to sort of shift click it to get it in. That's interesting. Anyway, so mineral sizer. So what the mineral sizer does is I'm pretty sure it is uh, uninspected minerals. Maybe, <laughs> maybe let's. All right, so here we go. Put granite in there and you'll get fluorite bearing compounds. Sand will give you the silicon dust, which is one of the things we wanted uh, and Uninspected mineral gives you all sorts of stuff. So it is the uninspected mineral that we want. Uh, come on. In there. So what happens? Processed and then. Now I might need a gear to go in there. Ah, we need a crushing gear, right, okay. So I'm guessing the gear runs out after a while then. Um, crushing gears are just iron like that. Hey, there we go. And it's going to use quite a bit. All right, so we're going to want to take this mineral stuff out as we do it. Now, I wonder if this puts things out to a chest or if we're going to need another it's going to put it out automatically 
No. No, it's not. All right. So we are going to need to put this guy down there. Uh, quickly race over here. Make ourselves another one of these. Go like that. Hooray, let's throw all of this stuff in there. So what are we getting? We're getting phosphates, sulfate, halides, and sulfides so far. It looks like, uh, maybe, oh no, there's another one, native mineral. So these all get processed in the mineral analyzer next. So how are we going? All right, so we are gonna need a bit more fuel as well. It really takes its toll on glowstone and stuff. We might have to look at getting some RF happening at some point. I know there is the, uh, like a survivalist generator in this um in this one yeah survival generator that's pretty in fact that's very easy to make that's pretty cool we could probably make that one uh and the other thing we're going to need is uh what was it it was called an induction heating element which is induction heating interface maybe it's that one Allows rock and machines to accept RF. Okay, so we need that, which is a heating element with iron. Heating element being, uh, right, so here we go. This is the nichrome. So this is where we're going to get into trouble with some stuff because we need to do the alloy, which means we're going to need iron, chromium, and nickel. Nickel we've got, iron we've got, chromium we don't have. So this is the chemical extractor. So we're going to need that chemical extractor. We can make one of those as well. Uh, it's pretty easy to make as well. All right, so now what we do is, wow, we're getting a lot of different ones of these. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to use the mineral analyzer next. So we'll make an, actually we'll make both of them in this episode. Let's make an analyzer and we'll make an extractor as well. This is going to be a bit of a long episode, but hopefully most of it is sort of things that we've done before, you know, making this stuff up front. Admittedly, I did want to make my jetpack. Um, didn't manage to get there, unfortunately. It was a bit, <laughs> a bit trickier than I anticipated. Um, but as you guys probably know, if you've watched me for a while, I tend to try and figure things out as I'm recording an episode. I don't, I don't really do a whole lot of research beforehand. So it's kind of like a let's play, um, but kind of like a, like a how to as well. I'll try and cut the boring bits. Anyway, I'll be back in just a moment. We will have a analyzer and a chemical extractor and hopefully we'll see what they do. See you in a bit. All right, so in the break, I made these extra machines. We've got the mineral analyzer and the chemical extractor. They're hooked up like this. We've got a hopper leading to each one, hopper under there leading back to our original chest. Uh, now, what's going to happen is stuff's going to go into the sizer drop out go into here where we're going to put in i don't know say phosphates over there um, we fuel it we put um test tubes in here test tubes are pretty easy just three glass but then the next bit we're going to need is you're going to need these three different sorts of acid uh, and we need to pipe those three different sorts of acid into here in order for this machine to even work uh, once that happens you'll end up with a product here that'll drop out and go into here and you'll end up with the chemical extractor which is a whole nother um, world of something that we need to do with so i'm going to end this episode here this has been an interesting sort of tangential episode because we started here wanting to get to the jetpack realized pretty quickly we're going to need all these nichrome and other weird uh not weird but you know the other exotic sort of minerals um which looks to be what we need rock hounding for tried to get there quickly uh all the mods expert pack is just not a pack where you get somewhere quickly it's uh i'm, I'm actually really enjoying it it's um the guys have done a really good job with this pack it's um i mean i've played expert packs before and they are uh, they're usually pretty good but this one here just always keeps you making that one extra thing or two extra things like five levels deep um which is really really good and there doesn't seem to be any shortcuts either it's it's pretty well um well set up anyway um that is all from me uh, i'll see you next episode we will continue with trying to get the slab stuff uh, getting the uh acids and stuff done for this and hopefully we'll get some dust out the other side so as always thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time